Boston Red Sox hosting the Atlanta Braves. The Braves are minus 160 on the money line. The Red Sox are plus 135. The over-under is 9.5 runs. The Braves laying a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. The Red Sox getting a run and a half are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Morton pitched once against the Red Sox last year. Seven innings, one run, one earned. They won that game 3-1, to one, and that was in Boston. Hill pitched once against the Braves last year. Four innings, three runs, three earned. They won 7-5, and that was in Atlanta. The Braves are on a three-game losing streak. They are 5-5 five five in their last 10. They are 27-24 on the road. They are 55-55 and 55 on the run line, so if you've been betting that way, they're a perfect 500. They've lost Morton's last two starts. They're 11 and 10 with him on the mound. And they are, the over is 15, five and one in the games in which he's pitched in. The Red Sox are in a two game losing streak. They're four and six in their last 10. They are 26 and 27 at home. They've lost Hill's last two starts. They're eight and eight with him on the mound. The under is seven, five and four in the games in which he's pitched in. And the Red Sox are 56 and 54 on the red line, uh, run line. Head to head, the Braves are on a one game winning streak, although the Red Sox are six and four against them in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is six and four in their last 10. There's only been one one run game in their last 10 meetings. The over is eight, one and one. That's what the casino set it at. And the over nine and a half specifically is eight and two. I'm going to take the Braves at the money line, the Braves laying the runs and the over. It's Fenway Park. There's no lead that's safe. And both of these pitchers ERAs are a little bit high. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.